welcome back to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly message for June the 7th through June the 13th. And without further ado, we are getting right into those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful, romantic, committed relationship. Angels, high vibrations for Aries. Hmm. Very interesting. We have soulmates and release. Sometimes the only thing to do is laugh or cry. It is up to you. Aries, I feel you wanting to pull away from your soulmate this week. It is completely up to you. Yeah, it's laugh or cry. I feel like there is, you You may release and you may be upset about it. Or well, you might not be upset about it. Or maybe you don't release them. You just kind of laugh it off. Whatever it is that's kind of pulling you yeah, away. So whatever it is that they are doing that is making you want to release, maybe you're releasing from that thing. Maybe you're releasing from the fact that they're always late or the fact that they um, don't pick up after themselves after you've said it a million times. Maybe you're releasing that part of your soulmate. All right, now, just depends on how you look at it. Angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for singles, those that are looking for love. Angels, we're looking for positive energy for those that are looking for love. Yes, we have creativity. Yes, yes, yes. Angels and guides, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We have creativity and fairy wings. In the forest, small lights glow. Those are fairies flying low. Love is not showing up the way, the traditional way. No, it's not. It's not showing up the traditional way. Think of outside the box. That's how love is showing up this week. Now, let's move on to, oh, let's not forget the spiritual bonus. <laughs> Angels, we're looking for joy for Aries. The spiritual bonus for the week is laughter. So definitely laughter is playing a big part in your week. Almost like lighten up, Aries, lighten up. All right, now let's take a peek into your weekly message, shall we? Angels, we're looking for joy for Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Positive energy, high vibrations for lovely Aries. Thank you and thank you. Now, let's add one, one from, go ahead, say it, say it. You know, and you know that it's my mama's deck. So go ahead and say it, Aries. Now, what's this? Go ahead, say it, say it. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You know that's not the right one. Dragon's deck, angels, positive energy for the, with the dragon's deck. And we all know that the dragon's deck is always right side up. Thank you, thank you, thank you to get out the most positive energy that we can. And we, as usual, are topping it off with the hummingbird deck. Yes, angels, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Aries. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now, all right, are we ready? Are we ready? Remember laughter as the the major theme for the week. <laughs> the major, wait, it is the three. Wait, no, it's the world card reversed. I kind of picked up on that three energy. It's the world card reversed. It feels like, yeah. Things should be going your way. Things, everything should be lining up in the universe. There should be stars, you know, A, B, C, and D, but you're feeling like, why? Why isn't it? Why isn't it? And you're wondering with the three of hearts, why aren't things going my way? Well, luck is on your side. With the nine of di diamonds, you will actually have everything that you need this week. If you if it comes to money, you will have the money that you need to, you know, dispense of. If it comes to, um, I feel like whatever it is that's, I feel like you letting go of something that 
it's a feeling of letting go because you're worried. But I would say with the luck card, it's luck in letting go. You have, There's luck in letting go. Let's, you know what? I typically don't do a clarifier, but this needs a clarifier. Okay, angels, what is the luck in letting go for Aries? Huh. The three of hearts, again, there's a lot of worry. Like you, you don't trust letting go. Hmm. We're going to do one more. Okay. All right. With the ace of hearts. This is all about you this week. I feel a bit of contemplation about letting go, but there's a lot of uncertainty around it as well. But remember, the decision is always <clears throat> yours. Okay. The decision is always yours. And I do not feel like looking at the major theme that, is that the decision will be made. But just knowing, just knowing that it's your decision and you have the power here, that's an amazing energy. All right, now let's look in the recent past, okay, Aries? We have the three of wands, three of swords reversed, mm -hmm. and the nine of diamonds, multitask, and the seven of clubs. So in the recent past with the Three of Swords, I feel like you started to feel better about a certain situation. With the Nine of Diamonds, whatever it was that upset you in the recent past, you kind of let it go and you looked at it a different way, a spiritual way with the Seven of Clubs. You became non-attached to whatever it was that didn't make you feel good. Therefore, it kind of distanced itself from you, okay? Now, when we look in the middle of the week, we have the Nine of wands with the eight of hearts and the relax card i feel like we're missing oh you know what i feel like we're missing a hummingbird card in here angels <laughs> well, this is this is definitely joker oh my gosh all right okay let's look let's look so in the middle of the week you're wondering who do you trust in a situation your trust should lie on you you have the power with the eight of hearts if you can't trust this person if you can't trust that person you have the power you don't need to rely on anyone else's trust with relax in this with the joker it's going to turn out totally different than the way you expect it okay so i'm picking up some energy of not trusting but you have the power trust your power if you don't trust something if you don't trust something if you don't trust a situation a job um something uh, a relationship or it could be a romantic relationship it could be um a relationship with a child or or a parent if you don't trust relax relax because with the joker it will be revealed to you kind of relax and just you know when they say you give a, a cowboy a, a, a what is it a, a rope or something like give a cowboy a rope and let them hang themselves yeah just kind of let them do them okay now like I said, this could be a person, this could be, like, let's say you give your child all the freedom they want, and you're like, okay, so let's see, I told them A, B, C, and D, but let's see what they do with all of this freedom, right? You don't trust them, you really don't, <laughs> okay? But just sit back and watch. Now, when we look at the, remember the Buddha, laughter, just Take it easy, take it light, okay? Now, when we look at the end of the week, we have the temperance card reversed with the nine of clubs, kindness, and the two of spades. So by the end of the week, yes, your impatience, you're no longer impatient, right? With the nine of clubs, I see you letting something go mentally, a mental block, you're letting it go. With kindness, you're not making a big deal out of it in your partnerships. I feel like um, if there is an idea, a thing in your head that you, you feel you need, you're attached to this thought, this idea, this want, I feel you letting it go by the end of the week. Now, with laughter, you're like, don't you say that again, Dora. <laughs> when we look at your bonus, you have the page of cups with the seven of clubs vulnerable and the king of spades so i'm feeling like the page of cups someone is offering you love yes someone is offering you love not a kingly love no it's a page here not kingly love but i see with the seven of clubs you're deciding that 
some of you, depending on where you are in your spiritual journey, some of you are upset about this love that's being offered. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna joke around here, okay, even though it says laughter. Some of you are not very happy about this love, this kind of love that is being offered. It's making you feel vulnerable, it's making you feel uneasy with the king of spades, and it's making you feel like you have to go in and do a lot of internal work to accept this love, if that makes sense. So now that's one message okay now some of you some of you may be accepting this love some of you may be accepting this love and just accept it it's like a spiritual love i accept it however it comes i'm not going to put i'm not going to put any attachments to this love the way it's coming i'm i'm just not and because of that you are you def you're still feeling vulnerable this is something new for you and with the king of spades it's telling me you can do this but you're going to have to dig deep. Whether you accept it, don't accept it, however it comes, you're going to have to do the work. But remember, lighten up with the laughter. Don't make it so low vibrational to the planet, to the ground. No, if you're going to accept this, accept it wholeheartedly with joy. Like, all right, I'm not worrying about that A, B, C, or D anymore. All right, so yes, there's decisions that maybe you're gonna make them, maybe you're not going to make them, and be comfortable in that, that you may or may not make a decision. Whoever it is that you don't trust in your world, trust those feelings. You don't need to, nope, you don't need, you don't need to ask anyone, trust your gut, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. I feel like by the end of the week, Although I'm feeling by the end of the week, you are going to remain in whatever this is. Um, I just feel I just feel that some of you are, and you're going to rise up, if you will, in this almost like all right, you know, I'm gonna let go of that thought. I'm gonna let go of that because so, sometimes we make thoughts things, right? In order for us to to move forward in our world, this thought, this thing, we're turning that thought into a thing. And that thought is now becoming a um, roadblock, if you will. Your thought is preventing you from moving forward. Maybe it's moving forward in a relationship. Maybe it's re moving forward in um, um, a job or, or, or things of that nature because of a thought that you've created. And that thought is now a blockage in your world. Don't do that, okay? So I'm going to send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.